Welcome to DevOps Interview Preparation Part 7. If you are uh, new to this video, please go to my channel and you will get six other videos where I have discussed different DevOps interview questions and answers for them. In this video also, I'll be presenting two different questions and how to answer them. And please do wait till the end. In the end, I'm going to give you a pro tip how to tackle interview questions. So let's start today's session. And the first question is coming from the domain, Helm. Question is, why use Helm in KH? Why use Helm in KH? Think about this topic a bit and how would you answer this in the interview? Well, first of all, let us try to understand what is Helm. What exactly is Helm? Helm helps you to manage your Kubernetes application. And it does this via what we call as Helm charts, which you can define, install, and upgrade, using which you can define everything, you can in install Helm, using which you can install the Helm chart, and you can maintain your Kubernetes application very easily. It's a fact that when you deploy an application in Kubernetes, it looks simple, yes, but what happens when you have 20 plus applications running on a Kubernetes cluster? You will have so many files generated, it will become very difficult to manage. Hence, Helm comes into picture, which reduces this overhead burden of managing small files in Kubernetes. It is mostly written in YAML, making it very easy to use and formulate everything in a single place. Every component of your application, that is deployment, backup, service, service account, replica set, everything can be a part of a Helm chart. You can do a deployment. Not only that, you can roll it back if you don't want that deployment to go ahead. That's the power of Helm. And if you publish this chart, people can also use it. Other people can also use it, start using these charts. So how will you answer this in the interview? Helm is a way of maintaining your Kubernetes application and it helps you to upgrade, deploy, and roll back your Kubernetes application. When you have more than one application in a Kubernetes cluster, it will become difficult to manage all of these smaller files related to this application and help chart solve this problem. This is how you can explain this in the interview. Let's go to the next question. It is coming from Domain Jenkins. What are some basic required parameters for a groovy pipeline without which it will fail? In fact, this question was asked by, by one of my students who had attended DevOps mock interview session. And after that, my student had asked this question and hence I have added this in this video, okay? So let us understand the question. What is getting asked here? They are trying to ask you that in the Groovy scripting that you will write to create pipelines, what are some minimum parameters that are required without which the pipeline will fail? Meaning, if you remove this parameter, it might fail. So what is it? It's very easy. So see a small pipeline code that I have written on the right side. What is it? It's a Groovy scripting pipeline code. So it has some parameters mentioned. So formulate this into what is the requirement. First of all, the JSON formatting has to be proper. First point. Second, you have to mention the agent, okay? You have to mention the agent, okay? So first of all, JSON formatting has to be proper. Okay, you can see there are different kinds of JSON formatting. Then agents has to be mentioned. If not, Jenkins will not know where to run it properly, okay? Then the stages has to be mentioned, okay? Minimum required parameters, my friends. Stages has to be mentioned. If you don't declare the stages, then you will not know, the pipeline will not know, no, what stage it is. What is a pipeline? Pipeline is a collection of stages. It will one, one stage will get your code, one stage will 
uh, get your code from GitHub. The second stage will probably run some test. Third stage might integrate this with Honeycomb. And the fourth stage might integrate with Sonar Cube. Fifth stage might deploy it or zip it or make it into a jar file and upload it, etc. Right? Next is steps. What are the steps that you want to perform in a single stage? For example, if it is a Git clone step, if it is a Git clone step, then how many st steps you can have? First step is cloning the repo. And next step is maybe changing the branch. If you don't want to deploy the master branch, you can change the branch. So all of these parameters are important for a Groovy script. Okay, now how do we answer this in the interview? How do we answer this in the interview? In Groovy scripting, the minimum required parameters that is that has to be present for the pipeline not to fail are first JSON formatting, proper JSON formatting. Second, mentioning of agents. It can be any or it can be certain agents, but it has to be mentioned. Third, stage. What are the different stages that my pipeline needs to have? Minimum, there has to be one stage. If there is no stage at all, then there is no pipeline. Am I right? So minimum, there has to be a stage. So stage has to be mentioned. And fourth one, a step. So minimum one step has to be present. If you mention the stage, you cannot have a stage that doesn't do anything, correct? Hence, you have to also have a step. So JSON formatting, agents, stage, and steps. All of them are required in my Groovy script. These are minimal requirement in my Groovy script for it to function and not to fail. This is how you can answer this in the interview question. Remember, I said to you, I will give you, give you a pro tip for preparing for a DevOps interview. It is very simple. It is very simple. If you are interested in attempting DevOps interview, practicing it, if you want to know where do I stand, how much do I know? You can click on the link in the description. Also reach me out via WhatsApp. The number is mentioned in the description and I will take mock interview sessions for you using which you can prepare for the interview sessions for DevOps interview sessions. Not only that, you can also evaluate your knowledge. This topics, how much do I know? How well did I answer in the interview? I will. I will be asking all of these questions and all of that will be recorded and it will be presented back to you using which you can self prepare for the interview sessions. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it is, please do like and subscribe and we will meet in the next video. Thank you.